Hope everybody's having a fantastic, wonderful, restful, well-deserved summer. Middle of the Pirashah, Pirashah de Re'eh, talks about Ir Nidachat. Ir Nidachat is a idol-worshipping city where if most of the inhabitants of that city worship Abu Dazara, we kill everybody in that city, men, women, children, animals. We burn the city down to the ground. We take all the money in the city, we burn it down to the ground. No benefit can be had from that city whatsoever. And the Pasuk says, after the one who destroys the city, it says, V'natan lo rachamim, Hashem will give you mercy, but achamecha and he will have mercy on you. The Orachim HaKadosh says, what does that mean, Hashem will give you mercy? And Orachim HaKadosh says a fascinating idea. He says that when we act in a violent manner, then we naturally start to have violent tendencies and we start to be less merciful. So even though we're doing a mitzvah, even though we're fulfilling an obligation to destroy the city, and we're doing what Hashem wants us to do, but naturally, we may just become violent people. So Hashem makes a promise. Hashem says, even though the natural way is that when you act violently, you will naturally become less merciful and more violent. Hashem says, I'm going to change nature and I'm going to make you merciful even though you went out of your way to destroy the whole city. There's an idea that the way we act eventually will be the way we become. Well, Moshe Feinstein brings down very interestingly. We know there is a avera of sar bale chaim. We're not allowed to pain other animals. And he brings down that we're not allowed to kill bugs for no reason. If we're out in the stream, we see a bug, we can't kill it because we're not allowed to cause pain or kill animals if it's not for our own need. But if it's sorech adam, if there's a reason why we need to kill the animal, whether it's for food, whether it's for their skin or their leather or their fur or even if a bee is bothering us or an ant is spider is in our home and it's causing us you know just hassle or annoyance then we're allowed to kill the bug but a Moshe Feinstein brings down just because you're allowed to kill the bug you shouldn't step in step on it violently rather you should kill it like in an offhand roundabout manner because even though we're allowed to kill the bug, if we step on it with aggressiveness, then inside it'll eventually penetrate and make us into an aggressive, violent people. So just because something's allowed, and yes, the bug's in our home, the spider's in our home, we can kill the bug, but try to do it in a light manner, in a non-aggressive manner, because the way we act will eventually penetrate and become the way we are. And it's a lesson to do good as well. A person may think, why should I outwardly do good if I don't feel good inside? And I don't want to be a sketch. I don't want to be a fake. But the lesson of the Ir Nidachat is, the lesson of Ramosha Feinstein is, that even though we don't necessarily feel it, but there's a phrase they say, fake it until you make it. Even though I'm not there yet, but act superficially out act outwardly in that manner and eventually you'll penetrate for better or for worse. Bezrat Hashem, we should not only act the way we're supposed to act, but ultimately see it penetrate as well. Shabbat Shalom.